a misconception that the Soundfield microphone is a very expensive piece of kit that's only used by really geeky people who wear BBC kind of <laughs> tweed jackets and that kind of stuff. But Peter here is going to show us that there's a Soundfield microphone for the rest of us that's um, good not just for surround recording, but also for lots of mono and stereo applications too. And you don't need a lot of hardware to make it work. So how did you do it? Well. There was a lot of uh, demand for something at a lower price, but we didn't really want to lower the quality. So the obvious choice was to uh, remove the control unit. So it's the first sound field without a control unit. So it breaks out to four normal XLRs like any microphone would. Uh, you use four mic pre's of choice. We also offer as an option uh, a dedicated mic pre with a single gain control. But as long as you set the four gains of your four mic pre's exactly the same, go straight into Pro Tools or Nuendo or any of those other platforms, then everything takes care in, uh, is taken care of in software by a plugin. So it kind of reduces the cost but keeps the quality high. Mm. So at the moment the plugin formats supported are what? Well we have TDM for Pro Tools and then VST for all the other uh, platforms at this okay. moment in time. So audio units is still under de development? Yes, we are working on that at the moment, yeah. Mm. So. Okay, so give us a quick run through the software. What can we do here? How many um, different um, surround formats, for example, can well, we Well, we support all the main main, main formats. Obviously, 5.1 is the well, the most obvious one, as that's the only one that's really commercially available. Uh, we call the SPS 200 a software control microphone because there's an awful lot you can do in software. So you can change polar patterns, you can change stereo widths, you can choose delivery formats, whether you want mono, whether you want stereo, whether you want uh, 5.1. And you can all do this from within the environment people are used to working in, whether it's Pro Tools, whether it's uh, another uh, VST-based platform or so on. So it's very, very uh, flexible that way. Um, we really design it for two main applications. The first one is for, for studio work, where Anything you want to record with a bit more ambience and a bit more feel for the room uh, rather than just spot micing, it's great for that, whether it's drums, acoustic guitars, anything like that. Um, the second application is very much for people who do recording maybe live uh, in you know, orchestras, choirs, uh, maybe acoustic bands and stuff like that. You know, and they maybe have a Firewire interface with four mic pre's, go straight into their laptop, and they have a very, very powerful platform at a fraction of what it used to cost. So even if you're working in stereo, you've got the advantage that you can shape the mic pickup pattern retrospectively after the recording? Yeah, completely. Because we pick up sound from all directions, uh, we can't just, for example, have cardioids facing forward. We can also look all the way around, we can tilt them down, we can zoom forward, we can zoom backwards. So it's extremely powerful. There's nothing else that offers this kind of flexibility in post-production. Mm. So yeah, it's very, very powerful that yeah. way. And as with the other sound field mics, because you capture all this information, um, it's always going to be compatible with all the future surround formats because you can extract anything from it. Yeah, as long as you save the, the core format, which in this case is just the four uh, capsule uh, signals, you know, as future formats develop, whether it becomes 10.2 or the Japanese 22.8, whatever it will be, uh, we can make software for it in the future to decode to those, to those formats. Yeah. For the moment, we already support things like 6.1, 7.1, maybe even 8.0 and mm. so on, which are not really commercially available formats, but people are playing with those. Yeah. So. And it even captures height information too, so yeah. it's a complete 360 degree spherical surround. Yeah, so that allows you, first of all, to play back with height information, so if should there ever be a format where you have speakers higher up, you know, that would work perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, but also allows you to tilt it down and kind of look down or look up with the microphone, so it's very, very flexible in that way. That's excellent. So what's this going to cost us? Well, the UK list price is uh, £1,475, and for that you get the microphone, a clip, a 5 meter lead, a beautiful little carry case, and the post-production software. So, a so bargain. That's a big saving over the original. Absolutely. And I believe the technical performance is higher in some respects too. Well, the technical performance is definitely uh, comparable to our, to our other systems. So yeah, it's mm. a very high quality product. There's still true condenser capsules, um, you know, so we require phantom power and, and stuff like that. So yes, it's a very high quality product. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Sound.